What if I told you that a TV show and a Hollywood movie vehicle could transform an idea into a revolutionary combat machine? While that might sound ridiculous, it is actually the origin story of the Ripsaw M5. First developed by twin brothers Michael and Jeffrey Howe around 2000, the two self-taught engineers wanted to do something never done before. While they had been developing a line of autonomous vehicles, they wanted something with some more punch that might be of interest to the military. After spending several years working on a prototype, they brought it to a Dallas vehicle show in the early 2000s where they caught the attention of an active duty Army officer. After this officer reported his findings, the Army contracted with the brothers to provide a prototype for field tests in the Iraq War. From there, the sky was the limit for the interest in the vehicle. Soon enough, very high-level leadership within the Army wanted a fully remote tank. This ambition became codified into law, and the program became officially known as the Robotic Combat Vehicle Program, or RCV Program. During the initial phases of the RCV program, the Army wanted to develop three types of RCVs, light, medium, and heavy. Each of these RCVs would be assigned a different role, with the light vehicles being more focused on reconnaissance, the medium vehicles taking out soft-skinned targets and other light armored vehicles, and the heavy RCV being akin to a main battle tank. After years of trial and error, the Army finally did away with developing this three-tiered approach to instead focus on one common chassis that could be fitted with different mission packages in the field. Hence, the Ripsaw M5 was born. But what exactly is it? The Ripsaw M5 differs greatly from any armored vehicle the U.S. Army has ever fielded. Its basic dimensions are just under 20 feet long, 8.5 feet wide, and 5 feet high. With the focus on being a light combat vehicle, the Ripsaw M5's weight is 10.5 tons, which allows it to be ferried into battle by a heavy lift helicopter or a C-130 transport plane. But there's something else that makes the Ripsaw truly amazing. Under the hood, this beast is powered by a Duramax V8 engine with 750 shaft horsepower. Because of this amazing weight to power ratio, the Ripsaw can travel at speeds of around 60 miles per hour across all types of terrain. Its maneuverability has already been tested for the whole world to see. During the making of the Fast and the Furious 8, the producers found footage of the Ripsaw when it had been showcased on the Discovery Channel and knew they had to have it in the movie. After working out an agreement with the Army to use two of the prototypes for the film, the movie's cast and crew put the vehicle to its limits. As seen throughout the film, the Ripsaw can perform a wide range of crazy maneuvers, from going from full speed ahead to all back full, to 360 degree turns, and even jumping over snowbanks at 50 miles per hour. There was nothing the filmmakers could do that the Ripsaw could not handle. How the Ripsaw was able to handle all this abuse was because of its patented suspension system. While Textron, the owner of the Ripsaw M5 now, has remained tight-lipped on what makes the suspension system so unique, it is clear that the confidential road wheels, sprockets, and hydraulics make the Ripsaw M5 able to clear obstacles and remain on its feet across all types of terrain better than any vehicle the Army has ever fielded. But it's not just about raw power. The Ripsaw's M5 wide array of sensors and weapons sets it apart from anything else ever fielded by the U.S. Army. So how does this advanced technology and autonomy work in real-world combat? Before diving into the Ripsaw's weapons, it is important to understand how it can operate autonomously. The core of this capability is the Teledyne 360-degree Situational Awareness System. The system's hardware is composed of multiple types of sensors, including electro-optical cameras that can see in numerous types of light spectrums and forward-looking infrared cameras. These sensors have all-around awareness that continually give the Ripsaw data about what it is seeing. But how does the Ripsaw process this data? While the AI software remains tightly under wraps, several companies have been contracted by the Army to further develop the AI that makes up the heart and brain of the Ripsaw. But even though the exact way these companies have developed this software alongside Textron remains unknown, it is clearly very powerful. For example, the Ripsaw can navigate independently for hundreds of miles and can differentiate between enemy and friendly units. But what does the Ripsaw bring to the fight once it identifies an enemy target? Due to the Army's push to standardize the chassis in the RCV program, the Ripsaw M5 has been made modular. This means that troops in the field can put on different weapon packages depending on the threat. 
For example, if the Ripsaw M5 was going to encounter troops in the open, soldiers could install the 30mm Bushmaster chain gun on it. If the Ripsaw was going to encounter enemy armor, troops could take off the armored cupola and add javelin missiles to it. But direct attack is not the only mission set the Ripsaw can handle. In addition to these weapons, the Ripsaw is intended to take over one of the most dangerous jobs the U.S. military found itself in in the past few decades, route clearance. During the campaigns in Iraq and Afghanistan, U.S. troops faced frequent danger, exposing themselves to a wide array of improvised explosive devices and mines trying to ensure roads remained open. Countless U.S. troops were killed or injured during these dangerous missions, but the Ripsaw M5 can now take that burden. Thanks to attachments like its Mine Plow, IED Roller, and Mine Clearing Line Charge, the Ripsaw M5 is a modern solution that can clear roadways and minefields for advancing U.S. troops without fear of injury or death. But the Ripsaw is still not done yet. In addition to direct attack missions and route clearing, the Ripsaw M5 can also serve as a reconnaissance vehicle. Thanks to two robots carried on this robotic tank, an operator can get an even better picture of the battle space than before. But how? For aerial reconnaissance, the Ripsaw M5 can launch a Teledyne unmanned aerial system. Essentially, this is a much smarter quadcopter drone with a range of several kilometers. In addition to its sensors and cameras on board, the drone has successfully demonstrated the ability to carry a several pound payload, which is just the right amount for a grenade or small explosive charge. For ground reconnaissance, the Ripsaw M5 can carry the Marsupial Unmanned Ground Vehicle. Similar to the drone, the Marsupial has a 1,000 meter range and can detect enemy troops and vehicles inside buildings, around corners, or in areas otherwise inaccessible to the Ripsaw. But with all these advancements, what impact will the Ripsaw M5 have on future real-world military operations? The possibilities for how the U.S. Army will use the Ripsaw are pretty much endless and only limited by the operator's imagination. From current testing, it is clear that the Ripsaw is intended to augment almost every type of Army unit. Armored units can send these automated tanks ahead of the main force to probe enemy defenses and take out enemy armor before the main effort comes through. Cavalry units can use these vehicles to greatly extend their reach when performing scouting missions without endangering humans. Airborne and Special Operations soldiers can now have armor dropped in with them during combat jumps or behind-the-line deployments. Infantry and Combat Engineer units can use the Ripsaw for route clearance and as a valuable aid during convoys. Logistics troops can use the Ripsaw to carry supplies to cut off operating bases or through areas under intense enemy fire. Because of all these options and more, it is clear that the U.S. Army is fast-tracking the development of the Ripsaw M5 for a possible deployment by 2026. Once it hits the battlefield, as long as current tests hold true, the Ripsaw M5 will be a game-changer for generations to come. Bye for now.